Here's your daily sports rush from Sports Knot for August 21st, 2024. Welcome to the daily sports rush from Sports Knot. I'm Scott Colbranson. And if you thought sports couldn't get any crazier, buckle up because today's stories are like a roller coaster without seatbelts. Hands up. First up, Cleveland Guardians and New York Yankees, they went head to head in what can only be described as a baseball marathon. After 12 innings and four hours of please somebody and miss, pinch hitter Lane Thomas finally delivered a tie-breaking double that launched Cleveland into a 9-5 victory. This was the longest game of the season. With 20 runners left stranded by the Guardians, it's a miracle they didn't just call tonight and start again tomorrow. Even the Yankees' eight relievers couldn't hold off a six-run 12th inning meltdown. It's like they collectively decided to give the Guardians a sympathy win. Yankees, you might want to consider cashing in on those scoring opportunities, but hey, why start now? Meanwhile, in La La Land, the Dodgers decided they were done playing nice. Down by a run in the eighth against the Mariners? No problem. Let's bring in pinch hitter Jason Hayward. Boom! Three-run homer over the short wall, and suddenly the Dodgers are leading 6-3. to three. That's right, folks. Hayward took Andres Munoz's 99-mile-an-hour pitch fastball right over and sent it packing as Mariners fans wondering if their team's bullpen is just in it for all the thrill of late-game collapses. The Dodgers are now 75-52, the best record in the majors, and making it clear, they're not just here to play, they're here to win. Over the WNBA, where players are saying, hey, we just won the gold at the Olympics, how about a break? Jumping from Paris to the West Coast and right back into the league play isn't everyone's idea of a good time. Brianna Stewart and Aja Wilson are leading the charge for more recovery time in the next collective bargaining agreement. And honestly, after hauling in gold for Team USA, who can blame them? The WNBA, however, is like, but hey, we need the sweet, sweet momentum. So while the league is eager to keep the games rolling, the players are more like, can we get five minutes to breathe here? Stay tuned for the next CBA showdown. It's going to be one for the ages. And finally, in news that's as Texas as it gets, the Dallas Cowboys Hotel caught fire during their last week of training camp in Oxnard, California. Because why not add a little drama before the season kicks off? The fire was contained to just one empty room, no injuries reported, but it gave the team a taste of the heat they'll need to bring this season. The Cowboys continued their walk through just yards away, unfazed because when you're America's team, not even a fire can break your stride. That's the kind of grit you want to see down in Dallas. Or maybe just some really good fire drills. All right, that's it for today's Sports Rush. Quick, action-oriented, just the way you like it. Check out sportsnot.com for more, and I'll see you next time.